What's up everyone, Dean Ellis from Dartec and we're continuing on with our uh, menu creations and what our menus do. Alright, the last one we finished up on was the featured articles so this time we're going to go to list all categories. Okay, now selecting a top level category we go, we can go, uh, This will. what this will do is um, if you select say level 3 as a top level category it'll list only the categories under level 3. If, however, you clicked root, it'll list every category that you own. Okay, so we click on we'll click on root, and again we'll put this in the articles sub menu sub uh, list, and we'll leave the rest as it is. Okay, we'll save and close. Okay, and there's the menu down here. We click on the uh, the menu, and instead of articles showing, what happens is the article categories will show. Now there's a big red button here which when you click on it displays the other articles um, and that's how that works. Pretty straightforward, uh, no, nothing hard about that and there's obviously settings in the uh, in the list all categories that you can change. Okay in the categories list you can um, select which category you have um, and I've explained all this in the articles options again how you can do all that so I won't go into that too much. Into the next one and the last but not least we have in the articles uh, section is single article. This one you'll probably use the most out of all of the uh, the articles uh, selection. Okay, um, and it asks you to select an article, brings up your uh, your list of articles you have, and let's uh, check on that one. Put it into the article submenu, and leave the rest as it is. Save and close. There it is, single article. Um, now, normally you don't you don't actually name it single article. You'll actually name it um, similar to the heading of your article itself. Um, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just I'm I'm listing all of these um, so you know exactly what the articles that the the uh, links actually are. So single article, and there it is, one article. Pretty straightforward. Okay, and that's it for the articles um, submenu. So let's uh, move on into the next uh, frame. And the next one off the list is the configuration manager. All right, so let's have a look at uh, the first one. Um, I made a text separator, and I'll call it configuration manager. So I'm going to plonk it underneath that, and we'll leave the rest as it is. Normally, I think this one will be a registered link. So um, just remember that you, when you do these articles, you don't just leave it in public because if the public grabs everything, they will um, destroy your site. Normally, there's, you don't know who's out there that can do that sort of stuff. Um, so just be careful what you put into public in access and um, yeah what you display at all so let's uh, save and close and have a look at that uh, there you go so it won't actually let you do it um, if you're not signed in anyway so that's that's very handy um, so let's let's log in and there's the site config there probably find that this will be set up for super users and administrators uh, so you may find that uh, this is a very very distinct very cl very um, restricted uh, menu link. So we'll go into another one and have a look at it. Chances are this next one will be the same uh, and display template options. Yeah, I think this one will be the same. Uh, you need to log in for this one as well, I'd say. We'll plonk this under the uh, where is it? configuration manager again. It's all good. Save and close. Yeah, there it is there again. So you need to log in for this one. And that is very interesting. Um, there is no <laughs> template settings for this particular uh, this particular template. Um, let's change it, let's go back and change the template and have another look at that and see if it uh, changes anything. Okay, so I changed it back to a Joomla standard Joomla template, the Bs3, uh, and what's happened is it's come up with a few uh, options here. So it's probably something to do with the template that I, cre that I created out of Artistia. Um, no biggie. Um, really it's this, these sort of links you really don't need on your front page. In fact, you're better off not having it. There's some settings there that you can play with, and on the front end if you want, and that's where it is. And you, you know, I'm not going to go through these fields. Uh, maybe I'll do that at a later stage. Um, I'm going to call the uh, call that tutorial um, because I'll go on to the next group of menu links in the next tutorial. I uh, hope you get something out of it. If you like it, please hit the like button. Um, subscribe to the channel so you can uh, see updates, and uh, I'll catch you on the next tutorial. Bye for now. Oh, 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 oh,